Hello friends, welcome to the 12th tutorial of the Sales Force from Scratch to Advanced course. In this video, we will learn how to create and insert multiple records in our Salesforce database using Apex coding with the help of lists and loops. So let's get started. First of all, we will go to the gear icon, then click on developer console. Now let's create a new Apex class. Closing the previous Apex classes, going to file, new, Apex class. Let's name this Apex class account class creation. So Apex class is created. Now let's create a method inside the class public static void. Let's name the method account class method. So method is declared. Now this is called as parameters. So in this parameter, we will write integer m, where m is the number of records we want to insert in the database and we will take this as an input from the user, right? So now we will create an empty list of account type. Let's name the list account list is equal to new list. So this is the syntax for creating a new list. And let me tell you why are we creating an empty list. We are creating this list to store our S objects. And at the end, we will insert this list instead of inserting the S objects. Because there is a limitation in Apex of 150 DML operations in a single Apex runtime. So to avoid getting the governor limit exceeded, we will insert the lists instead of the S objects. So this, uh, this is our empty list. Now let's use for loops. And why are we using the for loops? We are using for loop to create multiple S objects in one go. Because we can't create S objects again and again. Suppose if I ask you to create 100 records. So will you create 100 S objects again and again? So we will use for loop for that. So let's initiate the loop. I equal to 1. And condition is I less than equal to m which is the input from the user then i plus plus i hope you know the concept of for loops so now we will create our s object let's name the s object account object is equal to new object new account so this is the declaration of our account object now we will set the field values Let's say I want to set the value of the name of the account object and set it Anirudh. And let's say you can also see the fields on the account object on the front end as well, which is a user interface. You can click on new and you will see all the fields in the account object. Also make sure that whenever you are assigning the fields here, we this is the API name of the field. As you may say that the name of the field is account name, but this is the name label. We want to use API name, right? So this is the account name. Let's use one more field. Let's say employees. So account object dot employees. Let's say employees is 100. So this is our loop. Now what we will do is this is the list name account list. We will add this S object to this list. So what is the procedure to add this object to the list? This is the way account list dot add and the name of the name of the object. So till now we have created a loop for creating multiple S objects after the after each iteration of the loop until this condition is met. met. That means whenever the input value is reached from starting from one. So multiple S objects will be created and in each iteration, the S object we have created will be added to this list. And at the end, outside the loop, what we will do is we will insert this list to our database. So if there are suppose the in input value is five, so this loop will run five times and five S objects will be created. So there will be five elements in the list. So we will get five records here. Currently there are 16 records. So it will become 21, right? 
so this is the way now let's see what are the errors we are facing to see the errors in the code we have to go to this, this tab problem and you can see the line number as well so in the line 5 let's see what's the error it should be but was yes there should be this sign here variable does not exit employees so there is one more thing as I have used I here so I have to specify this the data type so it's integer so let's specify it integer in the loop you have to take care of it as well now let's see what error is pending after clicking control process now you can see variable doesn't exist employees now as I was told you telling you before as well we have to use API name here so I have used the field name employees but this doesn't supposed to be an API name so how to know what is the API name to know the API name of the fields you have two ways either you can go to the object manager from the backend clicking on setup going to object manager then account object then you can go to fields and let type here employee so you can see the field label is employees but the field name is number of employees which is the api name so let's copy this and this is also to remind you to make these things in mind whenever you do this whenever you do the hands-on so clicking on control plus s after replacing it with the api name now what is what the error is there illegal assignment from string to integer so what is this because this is a integer the number of employees is integer and we are assigning it as a string so this was also wrong so i am also telling you these errors because you can also keep them in mind so clicking on control plus s saving this now we will go to debug log let's do one more change here to make the record value different let's add using concatenation concept let's add this here i plus i plus i so what will happen in the first loop suppose the value of i is 1 so the account name will be anirudh 1 and the number of employees will be 1001 right and in the second one it will be 2 and similarly here 2 so now click go into debug let me first of all save it clicking on debug open execute anonymous window first of all as i have told you earlier as well class name dot notation method name checking the open lock box and clicking on execute it's showing method doesn't exist why it's showing this error it's showing this error because we haven't given the input value in the parameter so let's say i want to create five records so i will give the value five here now clicking on debug only you can see nothing here because we haven't debugged anything so let's directly go to the front end that is a user interface this is the front end currently there are 16 records let's re let's refresh it so you can see from 16 there are 21 items here that means five records are created and what are these five records these are these five records and it is one two three four five right so let's go to one of the record you can see the account name is anirudh1 and the employees is 101 why it is 101 because i have added concatenated here i which is the integer which i have initiated and it every time whenever this loop runs again the value of i will increase by one so it in the next turn it will be one then two then three until this value is reached that is m and in this case it was five so it will be from one to five so here one will be added so it will be anirudh1 and when here one will be added it will be added to the value of the number so it will be 101 but not here because it's a string so it will be anirudh12345 and here the number will be directly added right so here the records are created so this is the case 
and you you should also keep in mind that even if you are creating one object suppose if i want to create only one object then first of all there is no need of loop as i want to insert only one record so let's remove the loop thing here i want to tell you that even if you want to add one object suppose this object to the database then still you should use list you should not do you should not do insert account object and remove this list this is not the right way even if the record is single because there is a limitation there is a limitation in the salesforce that performing bulk dml operation is recommended what is a bulk dml operation that means using lists and inserting a single list instead of inserting multiple objects because we can perform dml operations either on a single s object or in bulk on a list of s objects as it helps avoiding hitting the governor limits such as dml limit of 150 statements per apex transaction so there is a limit of 150 150 statements per apex transaction so if i create suppose here around 20 30 more objects and i am inserting there let's name this account object 1 2 and i am inserting here first object then i am inserting here second object then third and so on so the limit of 150 will be crossed to avoid this just make a list and add all these objects in the list and then insert the list at one go so this is the way so thanks a lot thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos updates also i am sharing you my linkedin profile link you can follow me on linkedin as well you can search by anirudh garg uh, simply on uh, linkedin or you can go to this url so thanks a lot